Welcome to Fast Effect Double Speed Magic the Gathering. Here we have Chris on Turbo Depths squaring off against Sean on Rug Painter. A new version of Painter that I'm very interested to see more of. Astrolabe, a really strong artifact that plays well with Goblin Welder and Goblin Engineer. Being able to swap that out for cards in the graveyard is very welcome. We also have Emery. And this Thoughtseize sees an Oko, which is going to be potentially tempting. I mean, that card can actually answer Merit Lage if things go sideways. Uh, but no, it's going to be Goblin Welder. Perhaps Chris is going to have a fast enough hand that he's looking to slow down Sean. Oko not only can answer the Merit Lage, but it can also make a food token to push you outside of that lethal single alpha strike. Hitting your opponent for 20 when they're at 20, very, very good. Hitting them for 20 when they're at 23 is fine, but if you're all in on that Merit Lage and they're able to just elk the token and then handle that token more easily than they can the 2020 Indestructible, you're going to be uh, pretty unhappy with that situation. Turbo Depths dedicates all its resources into making that one Merit Lage token and then making sure that it can deal 20 damage. Wooded Foothills. And now... Boy, it looks like a crop rotation. Fourth Thespian stage, making an end step all in 2020. Uh, so for those who didn't follow that, we had a Dark Depths along with a Urborg in play. That taps for two mana. Then there was a Elvish Spirit Guide, which I, I didn't see, but that's the only thing that makes sense. Elvish Spirit Guide to crop rotate away the Urborg with still two mana floating getting a Thespian Stage, and then using the two floating mana to make the Merit Lage during the end step for a super fast 2020. Sean, no answer to that. Takes 20 to the dome, and we're on to game number two. Painter also capable of very fast wins, but not as fast as Turbo Depths, is it? I mean, it depends on the build. It depends on if we have Lion's Eye Diamond as well. Lion's Eye Diamond, very useful in activating the grindstone side of the combo. I mean, the deck can win on the first turn with the proper amount of acceleration, but we're not actually sure what Sean has in his list and how pedal to the metal he's actually constructed this list. Ancient Tomb leading out game two for Sean into a Painter Servant. Painter Servant, typically going to name blue. That's going to enable your Pyroblast and Hydroblast, or Pyroblast and Red Elemental Blasts, which are already solid. You can still go after things like Oko and Cantrips. I mean, half the format. And we do see a Pyroblast. That is taken with this Duress. Only option there is Goblin Welder can't be taken. And the nice thing about the Pyroblast in this matchup is you can actually have that be instant speed land destruction. For example, if Chris does try and target his Dark Depths with a Thespian stage, uh, you can really play the same type of wasteland shenanigans that are so devastating against the deck. It's just a one mana instant speed Vindicate. Emery showing up milling some cards and looking to be put to work. Painter Servant turning sideways, getting in some damage, and now Goblin Welder off of that Lotus Petal. Might as well. You've got an Emery ready to recur that. And we've got a Vampire Hex Mage here. Urborg plus Dark Depths goes from not particularly threatening to Potentially game over. What is Sean going to do about this? Now allowing the untap. Emery. Returns Arkham's Astrolabe.
a land is played, and this is this is a vulnerable situation for Chris. I mean, he could just win the game on the spot, or he could get absolutely blown out with a response to this hex mage. Targets the dark depths, gets a twenty twenty. And there's some discard prior to swinging, but that is going to do it. Veil of Summer, not actually able to protect that Dark Depths from Hex Mage. That may have been the comment Sean was thinking there is, man, Veil of Summer could be even better if it could stop your opponent from targeting their own permanents. We see Psy, Master Thopterist, and some other spicy cards here. Pith uh, Pithing Needle. Uh, but Turbo Depths doing what it does very quickly there in two, taking out this Rug Painter list. That is all for this one, but don't worry, there is a lot more. Uh, you can check out our older videos, and we're always putting out new videos from ELD's Time Vault Games in Bellingham, Massachusetts. If you want to help the channel, of course, you can like, subscribe, share, tap that notification bell so you can know uh, the next time our new videos come out. Thanks for watching.